Hi. Welcome to Cult Films. Beware. Horror lies ahead. It's the year 2008. A woman plugs a wire into the middle of her head, then starts to calibrate herself with a radio apparatus as she cries in sorrow. Later, the woman dressed in blue gathers with a group of people dressed exactly like her. They arrive to a dinner. She grabs a knife and approaches a man. She stabs him in the neck. As everybody runs and screams she continues to brutally stab him in the floor making sure he is well dead. She damps her hand blood, then she takes out a pistol and points it to her mouth. She is about to kill herself, she says pull me out, but is not able to pull the trigger. The police arrives, she points the gun at them but the officers quickly shoot her dead. Vo returns to her own body, she seems in great pain. A man in the room says that brain dead from the host confirmed and the link is severed. She works for a company that specializes in assassination through the method of possessing someone else's body, committing the murder. This can have a huge impact in her mental health. Gerder, her boss debriefs Vo after the mission showing her personal items. She gives her a little metal cup and Vo doesn't recognize it. Gerder takes note and tells her that the results are mostly normal. Then she says that the next contract for them is a big thing, and needs Vo her best assassin to be in perfect state of mind. Vo tells her that she needs time off of the job and spend with her husband and son. Gerder is critical of her desire to remain connected to her family and expresses the belief that Vo would be a better killer without personal attachments. She gets home to Michael, her husband, and her son Ira, as she is trying to have a normal day with her family she is haunted by violent visions from her job as an assassin, it seems that she is starting to lose control over reality. Back in her job, Gerder tells her that she is planning on retiring soon and that Vo is the person that she has in mind for her replacement, but warns her about how easy it is to lose control. Gerder briefs her on the new target, Colin Tate. She tasks Vo with possessing him with the objective of making him kill her girlfriend Ava Pars and her wealthy father John Pars owner of a data mining company Zuthru where Tate works. That way John steps on Reed Pars the client who contracted them will inherit his stepfather company, become CEO of Zuthru. The pay is very big for this job. Vo starts to prepare for the job, she spies on Tate and Ava trying to learn his behavior so she can replicate it when the possession happens, but she feels something is not quite right with herself. Kate gets kidnapped, and in a modified van, they operate on him and place the implant on his head from which Vo will be able to control his body. As Vo plugs into the machine, Gerder tells her that there is no room for error as the compatibility is set for only three days. She goes under the sedative and into Tate's head, while experiencing very psychedelic visions of her body transforming into something or someone else. She now wakes up controlling Tate's body, he talks with Ava, they are getting ready for their day as they have a conversation, Ava tells him that he seems very strange with her today. Kate goes to his work at Zuthru, where his job is to collect data spying on webcams on people's homes. He has to use a special set of Googles to be able to see in real time the webcams of people and tell the microphone what he sees in order to sort out data for customers. The job is highly unethical as he has to spy on unsuspecting people. This seems to affect the link between Vo and Tate. They seem to recognize each other inside his mind and a battle for the control of his body and actions is about to start. Tate goes home to Ava where she is having a party with her friends. They all are Zuthru's employees, and they talk about how horrible is the job that Tate has to do and how Ava's father his boss puts him there to torture him for considering him not worth of Ava's love. When the party guests leave, Ava tells Tate that he seems very weird lately, that if it's his job making him depressed that it's alright to quit, but Tate keeps saying that he is fine. In the morning Vo calls Gerder, she tells him to recalibrate the implant, so he uses the radio apparatus plugged into his head to calibrate her mind control over Tate. Ava and Tate go to her father's party, where Vo is supposed to carry the assassination and suicide of Ava, her father and himself. Tate and Ava approach John and he humiliates Tate, tells him that he failed as a father because of Ava choosing him as a partner, and tells him that he hopes that the job he has given him won't be too hard on him, he expects it will not go beyond his skills. Vo calls Gerder and tells her that she is ready, she replies that he must get thrown out of the party, to do something blatant, to later come back when the guests leave to kill them both. Tate in an apparent drunk state approaches John who earlier had disrespected him, and tells him that he owes him an apology, John looks at him and tells him to go away, which he replies that he will leave once Ava is done filleting him properly. He starts a fight, and the security of the party beats him up and throws him out to the street. Tate patiently waits and loads his handgun. He then sneaks into the house where Ava and his father are having a conversation in the kitchen. She tells his father that she will stay at his place that night. Ava leaves to her room. And Tate approaches John. He sits on the table and puts the gun there. John tells him to go away or else he will call the police. John tries to grab the gun and Tate starts brutally beating him with a fireplace poker. Then he stabs him in the mouth with it. Ava comes down as she hears the noise and Tate shoots at her hitting her twice in the back. As John lies helpless on the floor, 
Tate gouges one of his eyes out. Then he goes after Ava following the trail of blood. He finds her badly hurt and ends her life shooting her in the head. Then he points the gun to his mouth and says pull me out, but once again Vo seems unable to pull the trigger. Tate fights back for the control of his body and won't let her commit suicide. Tate grabs a piece of glass and stabs himself in the head damaging the implant and regaining control over his body but trapping Vo inside of him too. Vo starts to throw up blood in her body while connected to the possession machine, but they're not able to pull her out as it might kill her. He then heads to one of Ava's friend's apartment. He tells her that he had a fight with Ava and asks her if he can spend a couple of nights there, to which she replies yes. She goes to take a shower while Tate watches TV. He looks very confused on what's happened and inside his mind a battle rages for the control of his body. Vo takes control and points the handgun at the woman in the shower. In the night a friend of Tate's arrive at the place he shoots him with a taser. He then calibrates the implant on his head and tells Vo that she is in control now, that he is part of the plan, that Gerter sent him, and only wants to help her regain control. Vo tells him that she doesn't have control and that Tate won't let her pull the trigger. Tate and Vo meet inside his mind. In a vision he puts a deformed Vo mask and start to read into her mind, figuring out who she is and where her family lives. When Tate wakes up finds that he had killed the woman in the house and his friend who came earlier to help. Tate seeking revenge goes to Vo's home. He gets inside and threatens him with the gun, and asks him if he knows where his Vo is, that if he knows what her job is. Michael says nothing he threatens Vo and tells her to come out or he will kill Michael. Vo appears inside his head and asks her what have she done to him. She answers that he had always been in control, and says, poor Michael the first loved him. Michael takes the gun from Tate and misses the shot. Tate grabs a knife and slashes his fingers off. Then he starts to brutally stab him until dead. As he is about to shoot himself in the mouth, Ira stabs him in the neck. He shoots the kid dead before bleeding out. Ira says pull me out before dying. Turns out Gerter had taken control of Ira and went in to kill Tate. Vo finally wakes up in her body, and now without a family she can be the assassin Gerter always wanted her to be. Trivia and comments. Brandon Cronenberg the director is the son of David Cronenberg acclaimed director of The Fly, Naked Lunch, The Brood, Videodrome among others. He is the founder of the body horror genre. Brandon says that he was inspired by Dario Argento and Opera when writing this film. The film won awards for Best Feature Length Film and Best Direction at the Sieges Film Festival that year, as well as the Grand Prize of the 2021 Gerardmer Film Festival. Comments Possessor is a sci-fi movie heavily inspired by body horror. An agent works for a secretive organization that uses brain implant technology to inhabit other people's bodies, ultimately driving them to commit assassinations for high-paying clients. In this dystopian reality, privacy is a thing of the past. Tate's job at Zuthru that is spying on people's webcams or their cell phone cameras in order to gather data, is a nightmare scenario that is not far-fetched from reality. The idea that someone or some organization could have the power to infiltrate your mind and make you their zombie can be taken as an analogy of how big companies, governments or agendas can make people behave in certain ways only for their profit and how anything can or could be traded for profit, even the control of your own actions. We find that very disturbing ha ha ha. The sound is very well designed but it could have been mixed better. The dialogue volume sometimes is too low and the music of the dreamlike sequences is way too loud but the music is effective in expressing dread and drama. We find this film to be a very interesting one with very good practical effects, outstanding acting and a very original plot. But, did you like this movie? Please tell us in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, watch out and take care.